What's going on guys, it's Greg Miskos Dyes, and today we have the highly requested Connor Fields tutorial in the ECD DNA. Chance is buried by Fields. Gives it up at goal line, extended to Connor Fields. Fields off a of pick, slides through, gets top side. He's, He's doing what he can, but what a play from Connor Fields to finish. Brings it out top side. Fake to behind the back, and he scores! Everybody bites on the field's fake. Back inside, the bounce picked up by Fields. Roll dodge. Fields, the shot, he scores. Very calm and collect with the ball. They see the field. Two, quick dish to burn a behind the back feed for Fields, and he scores. Bocklet feeds it. A wide open chance at the side of the net, and Chaos takes back the lead. With the split to get out in front. Trying to shake free of the pole of Manley. Fields does it. They feed it, and Fields goes behind the back. A hat trick in style for Connor Fields. Connor Fields. Wow! One hand over the top of Galloway. And that's his fourth. All right, so today we're going to drop the tutorial for the Connor Fields pattern in the DNA. We signed him in the offseason. Uh, he picked up the DNA, really liked it, and obviously it's been working for him. He's having a great season. It's been so much fun to watch. Uh, he is pretty unbelievable what he can do on the field. So he has kind of a unique setup, and today we're going to give you a full tutorial on how to string it. This is our DNA head and our Hero 2 Semi Soft. This is the red zones. This is the exact replica of the stick he's been using. We're headed up to Albany this weekend. He's going back home. Hopefully he'll go off, and we're going to give this a in the Albany vlog, so make sure to check in for that. Next Wednesday, we'll have a giveaway, and you guys can uh, enter to win a replica of his stick. But let's break down what we got going on here. First of all, 10 diamond top string. Uh, you can find a tutorial for this down in the description. It's a little different, but it is crucial to this pattern. If you want to use this pattern, uh, you're going to have to use a 10 diamond top string. So we have that going on at the top. Um, and then he's got interlocks going down the side, an interesting bottom string where you've got a lot of loose mesh and gap here because he only uses nine diamonds down the side. Um, but it helps the ball flow low really well and really works for his playing style. Um, and then you've got a nylon, three shooting strings, and he does his is shooting strings really really long and loose and people like to complain about it on Instagram but whatever's working you know keep doing it Connor Fields you do your thing uh, so now we're gonna break down the sidewall pattern for you guys so now we're gonna start on the sidewall so you can see we've got our 10 diamond top string through the first hole and then here's our first 10 diamond row so we're gonna start our sidewall through that first sidewall hole as well same hole as the top string um, and then I like to come through the top string hole again just make sure that's nice and secure down. So now we're gonna do an interlock, skipping two sidewall holes. So skip, skip, coming down uh, to this one here. So you go straight into the sidewall for an interlock, then up through the bottom of the mesh, and then right under this loop here. Uh, and then you pull that down nice and tight. So there you go, you got an interlock on the first diamond mesh with two sidewall holes skipped. Then we're gonna do an interlock with only one sidewall hole skip. So same process through the sidewall first, then up through the bottom of the mesh, then through this loop right here coming toward yourself. And make sure as you're going, the interlocks won't hold themselves tight, so you kind of have to tighten them uh, and keep them tight as you go down because they will tend to lose tension. Then we're gonna do that one more time, skipping one more sidewall hole and doing an interlock for the fourth diamond. And again, just make sure you're uh, going back through, keeping all that tension on those interlocks. So now we're gonna stack a couple interlocks here with the next couple mesh diamonds. So same thing, but without skipping any sidewall holes. So an interlock right into the next diamond. And these you gotta be careful to make sure they're sitting right. Same thing, one more time. Another interlock, and then one more, making that four in a row. Make sure that's nice and even. And there you go, that stacking right there is what's gonna make that pocket and push it up in the head a little bit. Now we're gonna have one interlock. So for this next hole mesh, you're gonna come down from the top through the mesh first. And then we're gonna do an interlock, skipping a sidewall hole. So going right here, so getting that, that one in there and then the interlock. And then we've just got one more interlock, skipping a sidewall hole. And then he's gonna go skip two and anchor down to this uh, this bottom end sidewall hole here. 
And there you go, we've got the sidewall pattern all in place. All right, so there's a sidewall pattern. Um, you can do whatever shooting strings you want, but like I said, he's got one nylon on that top row and then a stacked shooting string and then skipping a row, two more shooting strings, and they're pretty loose. Uh, the pocket rides up a little bit high, uh, catches on those shooting strings a little bit, but he's got a very smooth playing style and he definitely doesn't use a lot of whip, likes it to come out really accurate and smooth. For the bottom string, we're skipping all the way down to, uh, we're skipping the 10 diamond row and going down the next 10 diamond row. So you can see uh, it skips a row from the sidewall pattern, but lets that flow down really low and it's nice and tight. So you could do a more standard bottom string that's a little looser and it would still work with this pattern. Um, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna wanna leave the shooters uh, long. I've got him tied in about seven knots here, which I think he does. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. So if you want to do the replica, you're going to have to get that part down too. So again, make sure to check into the vlog next Wednesday. Come out and meet us at Albany for the PL weekend. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. Come on, fields to burn. Wow. This weekend, they need a win here today. And that was lost later on as... What a play. Uh-oh. What a play. As Connor Fields, who's been more about the assist than goals today, scores a huge one here to give Chaos a one-goal edge.